Hey there, so today before beginning, if you say to yourself, that umbrella guy, I love what you do, I love your channel, in fact, maybe I want you to forward all videos and quote unquote harassment to your lawyer so your channel, it doesn't feel left out, man, you're a nice person, make sure that you sub, make sure you hit that bell for daily notifications, and if you want to go further, if you want to check out the links in the description below, because hey, those help out channels, will definitely do that, more on that stuff at the end of the video. So today I want to return to the wonderful world of voice actors and this it has been something that we've been talking about for a while but this freight train it is definitely building up steam. What we're getting closer to is litigation. You can see it, you can see all of the signs out there and you can also see the changes within the tide of conversation where people have gone out and gone from smug and gone from condescending to saying, well, I'm definitely not going to be talking about this stuff anymore. Amazing, isn't it? You know, maybe when you go out and maybe when you're saying that you're going to uh, heft claims at someone, saying, I know what you did and on, maybe, just maybe, you need to think about the ramifications of it. That's why this conversation is important, too. If you go and you look at what's happened with the uh, voice actor Vic Mignogna, if you see exactly how his career has been dragged down bit by bit, and how his reputation has been drugged through the mud, you know, and basically his occupation has been destroyed because of this stuff, you understand why exactly there needs to be some type of ramification to this. You look at this too, and we're going to look at a couple of statements that came before this, but if you look at this statement too, it's still very obstinate. It's still telling you that, of course, you're wrong about stuff. In fact, you having opinions or talking talking about it, that's harassment and any video that's thrown out there is going to be forwarded to an attorney, you know, because anything you throw out there on Twitter definitely isn't public use, right? More on that in a minute, too. So here we have Ron Toy, somebody who has said a lot about Vic Mignogna, now saying, this is going to be my last post. Huh, maybe you should have come to that conclusion two months ago. Plus, maybe that would have been the smart move. In fact, people like Ricada Law have been saying, hey, maybe you need to shut up. Maybe you need to go out and get a lawyer. But of course, you've known more about the law than anyone related to the law, right? I will state for the last time, I have zero concern to go to court. I welcome it. Huh. Well, I wonder if you'll feel that way when you actually have to stand up there and say, Hey, you know those things I've been saying? Well, actually, I'm not directly connected to it. I just listened and I just believed. Also, while I'm doing that, well, you know that guy out there, Neil Kaplan, that friend of mine that was accused of the same things? Well, I stand with that guy. You know, posts that I've thrown out to him, those are different. You know, because he's my buddy and there was only one. One accusation, wherein I said there were hundreds, if not thousands, against that Vic guy. Huh. All videos and harassment will be forwarded to my attorney, Casey S. Eric at Kessler Collins. Huh, wait, so you picked up an attorney. But I thought we weren't going to court. I thought we would never get that far. We haven't been served or summoned yet. Huh, you can feel the inevitability in that. Man, that's probably a very strained smiley face, too. Oh, man, look who's uh, liking on that, by the way. You see the same people throwing in, the same people in denial. Man, denial must be one heck of a zip code, because there are a lot of people living there. Something else that I find fascinating with these statements, too, all videos and harassment will be forwarded to my attorney. You know, because they told you that any one that annoys them in any way, shape, or form, that's harassment. And videos, well, you can't make them about subjects. Only when you go out and you look at terms of service. You know, for places like Twitter, this is Twitter, so here's this this uh, terms of service for that. You can see the basics here. By submitting, posting, or displaying content, or through the service, you grant us worldwide, non-exclusive, royalty-free license to use, copy, reproduce, uh, process, adapt, modify, publish, transmit, display, and distribute such content in any and all media or distribution methods not known or later developed. 
Then we get into the beautiful part right here. The license authorizes us to make your content available to the rest of the world and to let others do the same. Hey, wait a minute. So you mean that people out there can actually use your own words, talk about your own words, and decide when they're discussing something what exactly that entails? You got it. Because you know what? You going and posting out in public, you utilizing social media, you know, and utilizing it in a fashion like we've seen, ah, anybody can talk about it. And well, what you've been doing there, it's been quite ugly, in fact fact. Now, if we go back and we look at all of the statements that actually uh, include ideas like summon or court, you can see the search up here. You can look back and see exactly how this conversation has changed. You know, we went from hearing about how this was in a court of law, this, it involved HR. I would suggest going back to your sixth grade teacher and asking him that. Would you like this to go to court, him to be found? guilty and then end up in jail or as a registered sex offender, I bet he doesn't want this to go there. You see exactly what's said about him at that time. You also see the fact that these people, they never imagined it going to that level because they thought that guy, he would just roll over and he would play dead because so many people have done that. I mean, there are so many folks that have let folks like this just run right over them. You also see things like this, you know, that are threats and that are loaded with statements about a person. Vic Mignon if you don't get on here and tell people to back the F off Monica, we are going to have a problem. We will be forced to take you to court. So you see the idea of court thrown out there, but the idea of court, it's weaponized against another person. It's a threat. It's a far-flung reality. I am tired of this crap, and you know uh, what you have done to these women. Again, you see that accusation loaded right in there. You can see what he saying. Silence is not consent. M. Effer, your choice. That idea, silence is not consent. I would encourage you, if you have not checked it out, to go out and look up IO9 and also look up where that statement comes from. You know, because he had the audacity to go out and to say something that, you know, goes back to an old axiom. He said, Greek or Latin. People have already discussed that. In fact, I put it in a video there. But of course, that became their mantra online saying, yeah, that dude, he's a monster. He's a person that, uh, that, well, you can see what type of man he is there. You see the other stuff like this. The fans want court. Well, that will equal his demise, not just his termination from jobs. Well, because, you know, it's going to destroy him. If you continue this, it's going to destroy him. And well, you know who's going to be standing there? Who's going to be firing off those shots? We are, because we will. We determine everything that's going on. Now you see this conversation change. I mean, when you get closer to the 20th, when he actually brings this stuff up, you know, he's still talking about he's trying to be consistent. He's not backpedaling, not afraid to go to court. But like he said in previous posts, I think people deserve a chance if they uh, do the work. So then he starts talking about getting chances. Vic he doesn't deserve to have his life destroyed. You see an about face. He starts talking about conventions. He starts talking about the guy deserving working on. Because you know when you're talking about that kind of stuff. Yeah, you better say that you're not trying to destroy a life and livelihood. The only problem is that everything that you did out there, it doesn't work to that. It doesn't work to that at all. I won't admit I tried to destroy anything. You know, he's responding to someone else. I responded to people saying I was afraid to go to court. I'm not. So you see that. And also, all I did here is defend Monica when people called her a liar. I mean, that's not a bad thing. So, you know, you go from that to, you know, you always get the public. The public is also telling us that we should have uh, went to court as assumed a lot of stuff, can't even pronounce our last names correctly. Wow, you know, because when we're talking about this, it's totally about the enunciation of your name. It's totally not about you going out and not about you ruining yourself. I mean, you see how many times this kind of stuff comes up. 
You know, he likes to talk about that. And then you can see a real change right here. You know, I didn't receive a summons to court. I did get a letter requesting to not delete anything pertaining to him, talking about Vic, and I'm happy to comply. There you see a real change. Actually, you see the ball rolling right there. After that, too, you start talking about settlement, settling things out of court. This, it seems like a message that is pertaining to things. And I thought that this, this was probably one of the more telling items before we see lawyering up. Most civil cases settle before ever going to court. And if terms were agreeable, we would settle outside of court. No one wants to go to court, but we are not afraid to go to court. Again, we never wanted or attempted to destroy anyone. Huh. You can see the fear in that. I mean, when you go from one end of this spectrum that starts, even though the messages we pick out, they start in February. If you go back and you check out the we, the we with Monica and on, yeah, that stuff starts in January. As you watch it move forward, you see this rolling forward to the we would settle outside of court if you can give us terms that are agreeable to ourselves. Huh, but I thought you didn't need those because I thought you didn't do anything wrong. Maybe you're seeing again the writing on the wall. Just like, you know, you never needed a lawyer. You never needed anyone to tell you about the law because you never thought you would have to shut up about this stuff. Huh, just like that. Reality, it comes in and it crashes in like a tide. And well, that tide, it sweeps away. Again, all the obstinance, all of the ugly that you see and people they are left looking like fools looking like fools who thought that they could go in they thought that they could remove a guy from conventions because they had gotten together with places like ANN and ANN I imagine that they need to be held culpable too because they went out they produced false narratives that they had to redact later on so you see that that they joined with that false narrative it's been pulled down culpability there. You see people that were out there that were quote-unquote fans saying, this guy, he assaulted me. Look at these pictures. And well, you saw those, those terrible assault hugs, terrible assault kisses on cheeks, that kind of stuff. Yeah, you saw where that went. And then the voice actors, they took it to another level altogether. Some of them are still calling him a P to the E to the D to the O. Some of them, you know, within their post. They have taken all of that to the level that it shows you what it looks like beyond, behind the scenes, too. And, well, yeah, nothing that will ever be the same. So all of these words here, all of this kind of placating that you see now, just remember what it was built on. And remember, too, you know, this kind of stuff. You're going to have people out there that try to intimidate and try to silence you. They try to silence you because they don't want the uh, ideas that are going forward they don't want them presented to the public because if they're presented to the public, if records are actually kept, oh, woe be it to them. But anyhow, you tell me what you think about this newest move here. Also, tell me how you think they might get this money. You know, these are the people that told you that GoFundMe's taking from fans. That's scamming. Do you think they'll try to backtrack that? Do you think that they'll be asking for money? I'm curious how that'll go myself. So tell me what you think about that too. Like I said at the beginning, make sure that you uh, like, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell for a daily notification, and definitely check out the links in the description. There's Patreon link, PayPal link if you want to help out, and so on. They definitely do help channels out. Leave comments too. I, I, when I agree or whether I disagree, I try to read them all, you know, and uh, it doesn't, there's no metric on saying you have to agree with anyone. That's something these people have forgotten. They've forgotten who makes endeavors possible. They've forgotten the audience. They pretty much are the end all. I don't want to ever forget that. That's why I try to end every video saying one thing. I appreciate you for showing up. I appreciate you for having any type of opinion on this. You make endeavors possible. So I want to thank you. So thank you. I appreciate you. And we'll do this again very soon. Thanks.